Hi, Keith here with another video on PAST. In this one I'm going to look at getting the data into PAST and then doing a few manipulations with it. In subsequent videos we'll look at graphs, multivariate and other statistical analyses. So I've got PAST here, started up, blank window. How will I get the data in? The easiest way is copy and paste from Excel. Now, before getting to that, very brief introduction. I'm looking at a set of matched environmental and biological data for samples taken next to two sites where there is pollution and two control sites off to the side. If you need more information about the data, go and look at the first video in the series. So here's the data in Excel. I recommend using Excel because it's a very good way for to archive data. Every package understands Excel. So I've selected the entire set of data and copy over into PAST, edit mode on, edit labels on. I've selected up in the top here and paste and in goes edit mode off, edit labels off. Now you can see that the first row text in Excel has been used to label the columns or variables. That's very very nice. And the first column text information has been used to label the rows. That's also very nice. And I deliberately set the labels here in Excel to be something that was meaningful. West C sample 1, West control sample 1, West impact and so on and those values are also represented in the first few columns in here. Okay, file menu. There's not a lot up here that you need to worry about. New will just empty out the data set so that's the easiest way to start again. You can use other options here but they're not that common. Save and save as. So PAST will not put on the .dat, so you've got to put that on yourself and then hit save. Edit. There's a few things that are useful on the edit menu. Uh, the first one is down. you've got obvious things like rename rows and columns. First one I find useful, row color symbol. So this allows you to set a combination of colour and symbol for a row, but there is an easier way to do it if you're not fussy about the choices. Over here in this column I've got numbers representing the four groups of samples. Edit down to numbers to colour symbols and PAST will automatically colour the rows. Now colouring the rows is useful or necessary for some analyses and very useful for graphs. What else have we got down here? Um, you can add more rows or columns if you need them. This one I think is very useful. Remove uninformative rows or columns. So you can select all rows that are all zero, so they're not really telling you something, or columns that are all zero, things that are missing. Now as it happens, the simulation I used to produce these this data does produce species which have all zero entries. So I'm going to fix that by getting rid of those. And then just resave the file. What else have we got here on the edit menu? Um, replace is, it works in a fairly standard way. Transpose can be useful for switching a file around if you need to edit or work with the file switched around. I recommend creating a new copy of the file for that or actually doing it in Excel. Stacked colors rows into columns. Occasionally you need to reorganize the file so that groups are broken out as columns. For instance, over here if I want to do one way and other, I need to have a columns for each group. So for instance, if I wanted to look at 
hydrocarbons and do a comparison among these four groups of samples here. ANOVA will want four columns of data. That can be a bit tedious to do. So down here stacked thing and that is done. Be aware as you can see it has wiped out the entire data file and replaced it and over here I will have to rename or relabel these columns to get them into something sensible. Fortunately PAST has a good undo so I can go back to where I was. Um, and that's pretty much it for the edit menu. Most of the other things there are things you won't need to fiddle with. Transform is a very useful menu. So hydrocarbons here, often log normally distributed, so I can log and that will do the whole column provided there are no zeros. Try and do that over here with crustaceans, log, does the first value and then complains about the rest. So I would need to do that a different way. And I'll actually illustrate that in a moment. Um, row percentage here is one that some people may use. An advantage of PAST is I can run multiple copies. So I've got another copy here where I have just got all the species. And if I just select and in PAST it's easy to select a block of data to work with. Transform row percentage and now it's gone through and replaced every value with the percentage of the row. Why might that be useful? Well for instance if this first row or if these rows represented um, differing sample volumes, for example capturing things in a plankton net where you weren't sure how much water went through the net. In such circumstances it doesn't make much sense to look at the absolute numbers, you're better off looking at percentages. The same if these were columns or variables were items in a diet. So that one is handy. Um, the others are mostly useful for geological uh, paleontological sorts of things. Uh, there's various sorts down here which will be useful. And then evaluate expression is the one down the bottom which is most useful. So we can do a couple of things here with environmental data in multivariate analyses it's conventional to normalize these data. So if I select these columns transform, evaluate expression and then you can click and select. I find it's easier to type. So bracket x minus mean bracket over stdev. So this is the normalization transformation. x stands for the current cell, mean is the mean of the column and standard deviation, standard deviation of the column. And doing this will transform each of the environmental variables so they have a standard deviation of 1 and a mean of 0. Done. So that's there. I can always undo if I'm unhappy about that. Um, the other th type of transformation that is commonly done in multivariate ecological and environmental analysis is to transform the species by taking square root, fourth root or log to decrease the importance of the very abundant species so that the rarer species actually have some influence on the patterns that are observed. And again I can do that transform evaluate expression and this time I can use that to fix the problem with the log. So I've got log here and I can go log x plus 1 and that will go through and do the logarithm of x plus 1 fixing any zero problems. For this particular data set there aren't species which are very 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 common I just have species that are 
rare and species that are somewhat more common. So a less powerful transformation such as the square root is probably appropriate. So square root x, done. So now I've got the environmental variables transformed appropriately for multivariate analyses and the biological. Of course I could do any other sort of transformation or calculation in here that I needed to do. Okay, now I'm trying to keep these videos short for about five to ten minutes. So that's enough for this one. We've just looked at some of the the ways of getting data in and some of the things you can do once you've got the data in. So I will now save this file under a new name, CVI trans F for transformed. So I've still got the original file left. And if I open a file, you'll see I've got the transform data in here, and TAST keeps any color symbol values that I put in to label rows and columns.